Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's try to get started with the uh, Google Cloud commands. Okay, so uh, what we will be doing is uh, we'll be creating a VPC. Okay, and we'll be creating a subnet under the same VPC and we'll be creating some firewall rules. Okay. Uh, firewall rules. Uh, let's create only for SSH and let's create a virtual machine. Okay, we can do we will be doing all this using the G cloud commands only. Okay, we won't be using any sort of console. Let's try to create this using G cloud and see what are the commands and how the command looks like. Okay, uh, let me go to the console. So what's the base main advantage of using uh, CLI and what exactly CLI CLI is command line interface. Any operation that you perform on this is a console operations. Okay. Any operation that you perform from a black screen like here is a command line operations. Okay. And the main advantage of command line interface is let's assume like uh, every day morning you go to office and you create a VM. The same operation needs to be done for at least 10 days. Uh, let's assume two, three VMs also and a virtual machine at a, a VPC and subnets on or a storage bucket or any sort of resource you need to create on a daily basis. Instead of going here to the console and clicking on all these manual steps repeatedly. Okay, for example, if you want to create a VM, you will be coming to console over here. Let's create a VM. You'll be giving all the required parameters in this console and you'll be creating on clicking on the create button. But if you want, if you're performing the same steps repeatedly, why can't you automate that? So CLI comes in the place of automation. Okay. So let's see what, uh, how can we do all this? So as I told, first we'll be creating a VPC, right? So let's go to the VPC section here. If you see as of now, I have only the default VPC. I can refresh it. Um, yeah, default VPC is there. And uh, the firewall rules will be the basic firewall. Let me delete all this. You can delete the same operations in console uh, CLI also, but uh, deletion, it will be easier in a single button. Okay, let me refresh. Yep, let's get started with this. So let's delete this VPC from the uh, CLI, okay? So I'm going to the cons uh, CLI. This is the Google Cloud shell, okay? And uh, as of now, I was in the right project. In order to perform any sort of uh, CLI operations on compute engine or VPC or any computing section, you will be using G cloud. Okay. If you want to have any sort of help, you can you can use H help or hyphen H also, it will be giving all the required um, parameters or any sort of things that you can pass. But let's be very precise today. And let's get started with this. Okay. So what we are we gonna do now, we will be deleting this VPC instance. Okay, so how we will be creating so I'm very Pressure, let's assume I don't know anything about uh, CLI. So the first thing I'll be doing is enter G cloud and using your tab button, double tab on it. Okay, you'll be getting these options, right? So what are all these options? These are all the options that you can utilize under the G cloud command. Okay, so now, as you know, VPC comes under compute. Let's take compute. Okay, C O M P U T E, and again, double tap on it. Now under compute, you can use again all these operations. Okay, now we'll be going into networks. Okay, I will be entering networks. I can double tap on it. Under networks, you can do all these operations. You can create a network, delete network, list the networks and all. Okay, let me list for now and see what are, what we'll be getting it. Okay, it is saying as of now, there is only one network that is default. Okay, that's fine. Let me delete that G cloud. What is the command? G cloud compute networks. I have the option of delete, right? Let me delete. And what's the name? Default. Enter. See, now it is asking you to give a manual step rate Y or N. I mean, it's asking you the human prompt to enter yes or no. Let me kill this process, okay? Because in the continuous integration flow or continuous uh, automation one, there shouldn't be any sort of manual intervention, right? So let how can we eradicate this? Okay, the same command now I will be passing with quite One second Sorry, it's a typo Quite. 
what quite does is it won't be asking you any sort of uh, permissions whether to delete yes or no it will automatically deletes let's go and refresh here it needs to delete all the 24 subnet and then it will be deleting the default network okay seven got deleted yep. if you see if you refresh again there are no subnets okay let me refresh the page now still the command is getting executed yep the complete vpc got deleted i think the command should also be done that's fine so now we don't have any vpcs and we don't have any sort of a firewall rules right so now how can we the what what are what we gonna achieve now is like uh, if you see here first you'll be creating a vpc right okay let's create a vpc so the same steps you'll be following like before so what are the steps let me go to the top g cloud compute if you doubt if you have any doubts just type on the tab button twice okay networks and next I want to create now, okay? Create, and let me give it a name of G Cloud hyphen VPC, just for naming convention. And now, if you see, if you double tap again, it won't be giving any sort of hint to you, okay? I'm double typing again, double tap. It won't be giving any sort of hints again. That means it's the manual thing that you need to enter now, okay? Like for example, any sort, if you are aware of VPC. VPC are two types, right? One is auto VPC, another one is custom VPC. So for now, I'll be giving the custom mode. Subnet hyphen mode is equal to, let me name it custom, okay? It will be creating a VPC by name gcloud hyphen VPC with subnet as, I mean, with the uh, subnet mode as custom mode. You can also create a auto mode. Auto mode creates a 24 subnets over here, but uh, we are not interested in auto mode as of now. So, Okay, let me refresh. See, the G Cloud Haven VPC got created. But if you see, there are no subnets over there, right? So now this step got done, and now you'll be creating a subnet. Okay, G Cloud Compute Networks. So, what comes under networks if you see? There are something right create we, we we just created a network, but if you see there is something called a subnets right okay let me enter subnets and I will double tap on it. Okay, now it's asking again to create okay let me create this. Okay, so G cloud has a very easiest command once you get habituated for that it will be easier for you. Now let me name it as a CLI uh, subnet one just for naming convention again. And as I told you, there are a few parameters that you need to pass by. And uh, what is the network that we initially created? Network is equal to uh, G Cloud hyphen VPC is the network that we created, right? Let me give that network because we are creating a subnet under this specific network. And we should be giving the CADR ranges also. Hyphen hyphen range is equal to, let me give like that uh, and dot O dot one dot O slash 24. This is just a CADR range. And now I need to specify the region, right? Where where should I uh, create the subnet and all? Because we are creating custom subnet. Region is equal to, let me create in the US central one. Okay, and let central one, right? Yeah, let me click on enter. So now what it does is it will be creating a subnet under the VPC that we just created, G Cloud hyphen VPC. Okay, it will be showing us here. Let me refresh. Yes, if you see subnet got created with a CLI subnet one, that's our name. Okay, so the second part is also done. So now let's create a VM first or else uh, let's create a firewall rule. So if you see till now we are using the CLI commands, right? To help to get the help also, we are just using double tab and uh, hyphen hyphen help also will be giving you the parameters that you can use. But let's try the other way. Let's go to the console here. If you go to the firewall, 
let me create a firewall here but i won't be creating it just will be showing you uh, let me create a firewall for g cloud okay description is fine and the network i want to do is g cloud hyphen vpc and the priority is 100 and target is all instances in the network source so this is not our priority as of now our priority is to just to start with g cloud commands this is fine and uh, 22 ssh is 22 right so if i click on this button this will be created but if you see an underground there's command line right just click on it it will be giving you the complete g cloud command that you can use instead of the console if you see g cloud compute hyphen fm project this is not required firewall rules you are creating a firewall with name firewall hyphen g cloud and we are specifying ingress rule with priority thousand and we are specifying the network with allow and the tcp rule that we specified is 22 and the source range is zero we are opening to the complete world let me copy that and let me paste here just click on enter it's creating a firewall rule let me close this i don't want to have this here Okay, once this is created, we'll be seeing a firewall rule there. Okay, firewall rule got created with ingress and thousand as a priority. Okay, let me refresh. Okay, that's fine. We have created a firewall rule and it is of TCP 22. So this is this is also done, right? So third one is also done. So now let's create a VM. Okay, uh, I'll show you the same process. Okay, if you go to the compute section, VM instances. There is some tricky here, okay, for the virtual machine, basically. Uh, let's get on create. I will be going with the defaults. Let me go to the command line. If you see, there is a this much of command line. What it does is it will be creating compute engine with the basics and all with the defaults uh, option that are available. But uh, as of now, as we are very new to the console, we don't know all of this stuff. So let me close this and let me go to the console here, CLI here. Let me give the basic command that that gets created for us. G cloud compute instances. OK, instance or instances. How can we verify? Just double tap on it. It will be showing you the instances. OK, that's fine instances. And then again, I'll be using create. And let me give it to the G cloud hyphen VM is the name. And I need to specify the zone where this VM will be deploying. Uh, US central one. Uh, let, let me be specific with this zone, right? A central one hyphen A. And we'll be specifying the which subnet you want to uh, create this virtual machine. As of now, we are only having one subnet, but we need to specify this also. Subnet one, uh, what is the subnet we created? Mm. Where is that VPC, PC network? A subnet name is like CLA hyphen subnet one. Let me copy this. And subnet is equal to sub CLA hyphen subnet one. Okay. It takes the default options that are available. Like for example, the default uh, operating system when you create a virtual machine is a Debian based operating system. And it will be going with the basic uh, even standard and one standard one. So it takes the basic ones. If you see, I haven't specified the machine type, right? But it took the default one and one standard one. And the status is running. Okay. So let me go here. Mm, let me refresh. So if you see the VM got created. So if you want to, the best um, best way of doing automation is writing CLI commands and you can execute them as you like. Okay, so for example, if you want to have some practice lab on a daily basis, create a script of these all these G cloud commands and execute them so that there won't be any manual interventions there. Okay, now if you want, you can connect this using SSH. Anyhow, we already created a firewall rule, right? So there won't be any issues. So we created a VPC with the uh, G cloud command. We have created a subnet under the VPC. We have created a, a firewall rule for SSH and we have created, just created a virtual machine using all the G cloud commands, okay? So for all the computing sections and all, you can use G cloud. 
But if you want to use any storage sections and all, you can use gsutil. For BigQuery, you can use BQ. I'll be showing later on all the all the things. But for now, I think uh, you understand how to get things started with the gcloud commands and all. Okay. I will be pasting all these uh, uh, what we call the commands that are used in the description below, so that it, you can use it accordingly. Yeah. Uh, if you like the video, give a thumbs up on it, and uh, please do subscribe to my channel. See you again in the next video. Bye.